Parliamentary questions have been asked. Can we now move to the next question? We now come to the fourth oral question. Lord Moylan. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing with my, my name on the order paper. My Lords, on Tuesday, <clears throat> my honourable friend, the Universities Minister, and I laid written statements confirming that following the review of when all higher education students could return to in-person teaching, remaining students on non-practical courses should return to in-person teaching alongside Step 3 of the roadmap out of lockdown no earlier than the 17th of May. Alongside this, the guidance document for students returning to or starting higher education was updated and published. Uh, my Lords, I am grateful to the Government for updating the guidance shortly after this question was tabled, and I am, of course, conscious of the need for sensible restraint in emerging from lockdown. But by, 17, by the 17th of May, uh, many summer terms would be so far advanced it will be almost uh, not worthwhile in many cases um, restarting um, uh, physical teaching. And for many students, it will be the autumn, I suspect, before they get back to where they ought to be. Um, it seems to me that university students have been handed yet again the shortest of short straws and are bearing a disproportionate part of the national burden. Would my noble friend think again? Well, of, of course we recognise the, the difficulties and disruption which uh, a, a return in the line with Step 3 may cause to students. It does, however, uh, allow them uh, to receive some extra in-person teaching and assessment, to engage with extracurricular activities, take part in face-to-face -face career support, to visit specialist libraries and so on, as well as to see uh, their, their peers and boost their mental health. Uh, students are keen to get back to campus and universities are keen to have them back. We want to enable this as soon as the public health situation allows. 